Hello everybody, I'm back. It's been a while since I uploaded uh, the last video. Um, of course, life happens. Um, but then recently I had a patient who said, oh, I watched the video of you on YouTube. And I was like, mm, yeah, I should pick this up again. So without much further ado, here's the new video. I'm gonna show you a simple root canal treatment with uh, the Procodile Q files from Comet. Um, and it's a root canal treatment without any anesthesia. So enjoy! As you can see, it's tooth 1.5, the upper right second premolar, and the patient was pregnant and didn't want any anesthesia. So first things first, always apply a rubber dam. If you don't use the rubber dam, shame on you, quit your job. In this part you can see me removing the carries and um, of course removing some of the old restoration. I sped it up a little bit because otherwise it will take too long. And here I'm removing the old cotton pellet. It's a mystery to me why dentists still use cotton pellets. Again, some speeding up after I remove the cotton pellets, I am reducing the cusps. Especially if you, if you have a premolar with an uh, MOD cavity, um, it's important to reduce the cusps, otherwise for sure it will fracture. And this is when the cusps are removed and here I'm removing a little bit more debris with the micro opener. I really like micro openers, it's really easy to use them and they come in very handy. Um, you will see it later on um, in this clip. Then of course some initial rinsing, but as you can already tell, um, I need a pre-endo build-up. But this is just some initial rinsing that I do. Now for the pre-endo buildup, I always make sure that I will not block the canal. So as you can see, I put in some gutta percha cones to block the canal. And this way it will not be um, filled with my pre-endo buildup material. In the next part here, of course, I am etching because I am going to do the buildup with some dual cure composite resin. Then again, of course, I will reduce uh, the bulk of the pre-endo buildup, uh, reducing uh, the height, make sure I have a flat surface. And then it's time to remove the gutta percha. So again, I'm using a micro opener for this. And as you can see, the gutta percha easily comes out. It's not that hard. It's not, um, you know, stuck to the canal wall or something. So you can simply remove them and then um, prepare the opening cavity more. Here you can see why endodontists are the best lovers in dentistry. We have extremely good developed tactile control. Then again, of course, some more rinsing because rinsing is basically the most important part of root canal treatment. And here I start using the path glider, which is basically the path file of Comet. In this part, I let the sound on. Um, this is the first part of the shaping process with the Procodile Q, and you will hear the reciprocating motion of this file. I 
after I did the complete shaping, I do some activation. Um, I use the Irisafe, I do some ultrasonic activation. Sometimes I use the Eddy, um, in this case I use the, the Irisafe. Doesn't really matter that much. Then of course the canals need to be dried. I use simple paper points from Ruko. After the canal is dried, I will apply some sealer. I do this with a Lancelo, as you can see. I use bioceramic sealer in this case, some Seraseal from Comet. Well, actually it's from Meta. And then obviously I will simply put in the gutta percha into the canal. In this case, because we have an oval canal, I will use two cones to um, get the sealer everywhere. When you use bioceramic sealer, you should actually think of the sealer as the filling material, not the gutta percha. Obviously, I will remove the excess gutta percha and use my plugger to make sure it adapts. And then after this, I will prepare the post space. If you look very carefully, you will see that I use a pretty small burr and that I rather thermomechanically plasticize the gutta percha to remove it. So always adapt the post to the canal, never the canal to the post. Then use a plugger, of course, to make sure that everything is well adapted in the apical part. And then, of course, apply some bonding to the canal. I sped it up again a little bit. Um, once I apply the bonding, I will use some air to evaporate the first part of the bonding. And then in the second part, before I use my curing light, I will also use a paper point to remove the excess of bonding in the canal. Then in this case, I used my DC core buildup material immediately in the canal. And as you can see, because I have a wide canal, I applied two glass fiber posts. After the buildup is cured, it's time to finish and polish. In this case, I used the Soflex system and the Pogo polishing system. And then it's time to remove the rubber dam. And here you can see the final results. Um, the tooth has a buildup, the posts are in place, everything is polished and it's ready to receive a crown. And here is the final result on the x-ray. As you can see we have a nice point of exit on the side which is in accordance with the location of the apical translucency and also on the mesial side you can see a small accessory canal which is also filled. So, this was a complete root canal treatment without any anesthesia. As you can see, the Procodile Q did its job perfectly, shaped the canal very good. Um, the obturation with the bioceramic sealer, also if you looked at the end result, you have some nice hydraulic filling and uh, accessory canal that is filled. And I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more. I will try my best to keep uploading some more videos in the near future. If you haven't done it already, hit like, hit subscribe and turn on the notifications. See you next time.